Welcome to Med in 5 channel. The topic in this video is about adipose tissue metabolism. The adipose tissue is located in subcutis around the viscera bone marrow breast tissue and intermuscular adipose tissue. Histologically, the adipose tissue consists in adipocyte sets. Notice the picture. Adipocytes are large cells. They have a small nucleus but an abundant cytoplasm, where is provided the fatty deposit. The fatty deposit is the main protagonist in adipose tissue metabolism, concerning two main processes, lipolysis and lipogenesis. Lipolysis is the process of releasing the fatty acids from triglyceride compounds. Lipolysis occurs in fasting conditions or in physical effort with the aim to mobilize the storage energy, the inactive energy. It is a hydrolytic reaction because it needs three water molecules. Notice the reactions. Here it is a triglyceride. Three water molecules enter the reaction and the lipase enzyme will divide it into, glycerol and three fatty acids, which are written with red, green and blue colors. Afterward, the glycerol will continue his pathway in which adenosine 3-phosphate and glycerol kinase enzyme, will transform it into glycerol phosphate. Then, the NAD coenzyme and glycerol dehydrogenase will transform it into dehydroxyacetone phosphate. So, the final products of lipolysis are, dehydroxyacetone phosphate and three fatty acids. The latter will undergo oxidation for energy provide, while dehydroxyacetone phosphate will enter the glycolysis reaction. On the other hand, there is lipogenesis. Lipogenesis consists in synthesis of new lipid molecules. There is criteria for lipogenesis, the presence of glucose, which undergoes glycolysis and produces dehydroxyacetone phosphate, needed for triglyceride synthesis and acetyl-CoA, needed for the fatty acid synthesis. It includes two processes. The first is triglyceride synthesis, which is almost the opposite reaction with the triglycerides hydrolysis. But in this case the reaction will start from dehydroxyacetone phosphate and not from glycerol, because the adipose tissue lacks the glycerol kinase enzyme. Notice the reactions, dehydroxyacetone phosphate and three fatty acids react together, remove three water molecules and form a triglyceride. The other process of lipogenesis is the fatty acid synthesis. This process will be discussed in the next video of Med in 5 team. Thanks for watching. For other videos like this, please click subscribe.